Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Nora Gajraj. Let's talk about magnesium. It's more than just a mineral. It's involved in more than 300 processes. Magnesium is absolutely essential for building strong bones. It's a key component for our skeletal structure. Powering hundreds of cellular reactions. Think of it as the tiny spark plug for your body's engine. It balances your body's chemistry. It's crucial for regulating vital electrolytes like calcium, sodium, and potassium, ensuring your cells function smoothly. Manages your pH levels. Increases nitric oxide, which helps relax blood vessels and improve circulation. Protects your heart by improving endothelial function, the lining of your blood vessels. It keeps your cardiovascular system healthy and it fights inflammation. Magnesium, the calcium coach and vitamin D activator. Magnesium doesn't work alone. It's a team player, especially with calcium and vitamin D. Magnesium actually increases how well your body absorbs calcium, making it more effective for bone health. Your body needs magnesium to properly activate vitamin D, which is crucial for everything from immunity to bone health. Parathyroid powerhouse. Magnesium supports your parathyroid glands, which regulate calcium levels and help decrease bone breakdown. Calcitonin ally. It also helps calcitonin, another hormone involved in bone health, do its job. Building stronger bones for life. The result of this amazing teamwork, stronger bones. Increased calcium absorption, thanks to magnesium, directly fuels those bone building cells called osteoblasts. This leads to increased mineralization, making your bones denser and less prone to fractures. The brain booster neuroprotection helps shield the brain from harmful substances and oxidative stress. Synaptic plasticity influences learning and memory by strengthening connections between brain cells. Neuroinflammation helps regulate inflammation in the brain, potentially protecting against neurodegenerative diseases. Neurotrophic factors contributes to the production of BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor, crucial for neuronal survival and nerve growth. Stress and mood regulation interacts with stress hormones like cortisol, potentially reducing anxiety and improving mood. Sleep promotes relaxation by influencing GABA, a sleep-promoting neurotransmitter. Magnesium deficiency, a brain drain, Low magnesium levels have a surprising impact on your mind, linked to cognitive decline, especially in older adults, associated with increased risk and severity of depression and anxiety, may play a role in headaches and migraines, can interfere with sleep by affecting GABA production. Lower levels observed in neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. All magnesium is not created equal. There are several formulations. Magnesium citrate, often used for general supplementation and constipation relief due to its good absorption and potential laxative effect at higher doses. Magnesium oxide, primarily used as an antacid and for short-term constipation relief due to its lower absorption and osmotic effects in the gut. Magnesium glycinate, favored for its high absorption and gentleness on the stomach, often used to promote relaxation, sleep, and reduce anxiety. Magnesium lactate, a well-tolerated form used for supplementation. Magnesium chloride, well-absorbed and can be used orally and topically for various processes, including replenishing magnesium levels and easing muscle soreness. Magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt, primarily used in baths for muscle relaxation 
and sometimes orally as a strong laxative. Absorption through the skin is debated. Magnesium taurate being researched for its potential benefits for cardiovascular health and blood sugar regulation. Magnesium threonate. This form has shown promise in animal studies for its ability to cross the blood brain barrier and increase magnesium levels in the brain, potentially improving cognitive function, memory and neuroplasticity. Some human trials have also shown positive effects on cognitive abilities. So I hope you have found this podcast helpful. Please uh, subscribe and please uh, check out my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity.